Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will be moving our player by adding it a rigid body and creating a script and also we will use the new input system from Unity. So let's start. First things first, we want to add a rigid body in order for our player to be affected by gravity. Here in our, in our player let's add a component and let's look for rigid body. We are looking for the normal one, not the 2D. So rigid body. Here we go, it's applied. Now let's save our changes and because we will need to install the new input system. Let's go into window, package manager. Uh, this might take a little bit to load. Let's put Unity registry and now let's look for the input. There we go, input system. Let's install this. This might take a little bit as well. You will get this warning sooner or later. So uh, it is asking this project is using the new input system package, but the native platform backends for the new input system are not enabled in the player settings. Uh, this means that no input from native devices will come through. Do we want to enable the backends? And we want to put yes, but this will restart the editor. So let's go yes. Okay, my Unity is back online. Uh, let me see if this is installed with success. So let me write input. And here we have it with a, a check button there. So it's currently installed. That's nice. We can leave that window. And now we can go into our player. Uh, let's add a new component. Let me just put this a little shorter here. Add a new component and, and now I'm looking for the input. So we have here player input. Let's select this. This will be added to our player. And now it says uh, there are no input actions associated with this input component yet. Click the button below to create a new set of input actions or drag an existing input action asset into the field above. So we don't have one, we need to create it. Uh, I will go ahead and create a new folder for it because I want it to be here somewhere. I will call this input and now I can create actions and now I can select the input folder that I just created. So is this one? I will call this input actions. I mean it's the name of the of the extension as well. Let's save this and let's go into the input folder. Here we have input actions. Uh, we need to drag this into here or click here. Input actions because it's the only one that exists in the in all the folders that we have of this type. So by pressing it and exiting it already here. That's good. Now let's go and create another folder. Yeah this it's a lot of folders. Now we need one for the scripts. They're very common, right? Let's open the scripts folder and create a new C sharp script inside. Let's call it player controller, for example. And let's double click this to open Visual Studio. Here inside the script, we'll need to add a new namespace for the input system. So we want to go here and put using Unity Engine dot input system. Here we can delete the update method and we'll create another one called the on move. Inside this we can put the input value and let's say movement value. So now let's store our movement into another variable vector to movement vector which we'll say that is equal to the movement value and we'll put get vector2. Let's put the parentheses. Now we have a vector2 that will store uh, our movement in 2D. Now we need a reference for the rigid body. So we'll create another variable for rigid body and usually people type RB which we will reference in the start method. 
So RV will be equal and we will use get component. And we are looking for a rigid body. Let's put parentheses again. This way we will know what rigid body we are talking about. And finally, because we deleted the update method, we will create another one, but it's called fixed update. We will talk about this in other specific tutorials. Now, what we need to do, uh, a lot similar to what we have done in our tutorials about C sharp in order to move our cube. This time we need to move a ball, but it's pretty much the same. We will create a, another variable of type float for the horizontal move. And we will need another one for the vertical move. Because now we can update these variables with these values that will come from movement vector. So we'll say horizontal move will be equal to movement vector dot x. And the vertical move will be equal to the movement vector dot i. It can't be z because it's a vector 2, so only we'll only have x and y. But it's more than enough for us because we are not making our, our player jump. So don't worry about this for now. We'll update this in the fixed update. We'll create a vector 3 because the rigid body, uh, we need to add a force to the rigid body. I can show you something, for example. We need to go to RV, close this. We need to go to RV and add force. But in order to do this, uh, we will need a rigid body inside. You can see here, rigid body, add force, and we will need a vector 3. So what we have is a vector 2. We need to transform this into a vector 3. So we will create a vector 3. And let's say that is the movement or player movement and we will say that this is equal to a new vector 3 let's open parentheses we know that this player movement will go inside this because it's our vector 3 and now we just need to put here usually you can imagine this as this right I already told you to do this if you don't know how to fill this in so we don't want our player to jump we put a, a 0 here and here we just need to fill with this horizontal move and vertical move. This way we will be allowed to move our player. So let's save the script and let's test this inside Unity. Don't forget to attach the script into our player, otherwise you, you won't be able to move. Let's try this out. So here we have the camera. With our player in the middle, and let's push it back. You can see that the values are working left. Now, let me try to stop going up and to the to the right. Okay, it's working with the basic input system. Let me just exit here and go to the main camera. I'll try to put this a little better. So my camera actually. So my camera is at like this at the moment, I will push it up and rotate it a little bit, push it to the front, okay much better. We will try this in a second because we we also want to change the, the movement speed of the player, it's too slow at the moment, we need to create another variable, let's call it private or even better, let's create a Serialize field of type float and these will be for speed or speed movement uh, whatever I will let it I will let it like this and now we need to apply the value here so player movement versus speed and now let's save this and because we created a serialized field uh, that variable will be available for us in the inspector so if you if I go into the player here now I can see that I have a variable for speed and I can change this to something like 5. So this is the value that will multiply here with the player movement. So this way it will be 5 times faster than the previous time I, I launched the game here. 
So now I will move to the left, I'll move to the right, I'll move down and I will go forward. Okay, it's working well. I think I can change this a little up to something like 8. You can edit this in real time. This will happen. Uh, what you need to do is you will lose this value once you quit the play mode. You can either go here and uncopy the component, for example like this, copy component, or you can remember that you have 8 here. And if I press here to quit, this will return to 5. You can input 8 or I can paste my value. Paste component as new, paste component values. I will paste component values and I will get the 8 here. Feel free to adjust this to something that you enjoy. And I think that's it for this little tutorial. We have just added a, a simple movement for our player, but it works. And in the next tutorial, we'll move the camera. We already have done some tutorials about moving the camera, either with a script or with this in a machine. What is important is for our player to move and the camera to stick with the player. So that's what we are aiming for the next tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new with this short video. I'll see you next time. Thank you a lot for watching, as well as leave, leave a like, subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet, and I'll see you there. Thanks a lot. Stay cool.